Thanks, Sophie, for asking about Instagram broadcast channels and whether or not they are worth using. I have uh, been part of a broadcast channel. Um, there are several suggested to me here. Let me see if I am. I can still go back to the channel I was part of. That's really strange. I think I left the channel, so it's no longer here in my list. But I'm just going to uh, click on any of them here. Okay, broadcast channel. And then I can actually see some of the updates before I click join. Now, this person happens to have uh, a lot of followers. <laughs> you could see this broadcast channel alone has over a thousand followers. And so if I click join, okay. So here's, here's the thing about broadcast channels. As a member of someone else's channel, I cannot reply. I cannot comment. All I can do is either to share something they wrote in the broadcast channels to save it, or I can, um, you know, react to it. And then and the, the reactions, uh, uh, okay, so I, as a member, I can even see who are the ones who reacted and how they reacted to it. Um, and so it's just like it sounds, it's a broadcast. It's a one way. It's a one to many. They cannot talk back. They can't even reply through direct messaging, right? Because if I wanted to reply about this, I can't even do that. It's um, so it's it's kind of weird to me. It's um, it doesn't. It's well, just like it suggests, it doesn't encourage connection. It encourages followership, and I have some qualms about. I have some issues around that because it it just encourages like, you know celebrity worship rather than i'm not saying people who start broadcast channels are 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 um, are bad people not at all i mean they're this person's a, a person that i would recommend too but um yeah it's one way so i've always felt a little uncomfortable about that you could see up here uh simon is saying join my broadcast channel right so what if i what, what happens if i do there see i i click on this is this is not a this is like a little status message and in, in there's a, like i would have to message si i would have to go to simon's thing okay i would have to go to simon's profile i can't even go to si get to simon's profile um and how would i how would i join their channel it's, it's actually not obvious how to join someone's channel let me go to their profile and i could click on oh broadcast channel right there underneath Simon's uh, bio is, you know, it says hashtag give without take broadcast channel. If I click on there. Okay. And you could see here, Simon is also making, giving voice messages, voicemails as part of the broadcast channel. If I click join, there we are. Okay. And Simon also has a huge audience. So there's 5,000 people. So essentially it is a clever way for influencers to create more followership and celebrity status among their followers um and you know and the people who and it's you know what i saw in in one of the broadcast channels i joined was um there was there was like too much because what happens is once you join someone's broadcast channel it's it, it it notice that it sits within the whole direct messaging area right there's primary messages general messages and then channels and requests and I believe I got notifications. I don't remember whether I can mute. Okay, I, I can mute messages. So I was I joined a channel. It was that was like too many messages. So I muted it. And after a while, I'm like, I don't want to keep seeing the number of new things at the top of the channels, like where that where I'm clicking the the you know general the channels where I just clicked channels. There's going to be mess, numbers there that keep building up for the the broadcast that I haven't yet listened to or looked at and i just I, I felt kind of anxious about that because i felt like i had to clear i because i always try to clear my messages to make sure I, I read everybody's and i didn't want the channel's number to keep going up so i i did anyway long story short i would say that um basically it is beneficial to the creator to the influencer to the celebrity to to, to do that I, I i question whether it is beneficial for um, the members in terms of their productivity and in terms of their uh, ability to focus on life because these channels uh, will be, will be, it's, I, I'd say this channel broadcasts are, are more distracting to the, to the viewer to more. The notification is, is so-called louder in my opinion 
than um, than 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 even stories, right? Stories are up here. You decide whether you want to look at them or not. They don't notify you. Um, but when I but you see the messages, the messages um, number on the top it says four. I think when there are new broadcast messages, that number goes up. So like I said, for the viewer, for the messenger, or sorry, for the member, uh, I'm trying to click on the messages here. It is too distracting in my opinion. So right now I'm still not going to do a broadcast channel. I'm still going to stay with, but like I said, for the creator, for this, you know, for, for those of you who want to be more loud in your members inboxes, go for it. That's how you be seen. Um, and I'm not going to say you shouldn't do it because it is true that, you know, you will be seen more. Um, I'm going to keep waiting until it's much more mainstream. It's much more common for creators to have channels. And so I'm going to wait until Instagram users become more used to it, more used to that kind of distraction. And they have learned to up-level themselves to, in terms of up-leveling their ability to manage those distractions before I would start a channel. That's my opinion. I know that's probably not a popular opinion, but that's how I'm doing it. And like I said, I'm not going to fault you for doing it. I get it. It is definitely a more um, reliable way, you might say, to reach your followers with any kind of message, whether it's content message or whether it's an offer or whether it's something private. Uh, well, it's not private because it's being seen by all your followers who, who join the channel. Anyone can join. So, But it's more of an intimate way. It's almost like you're sending a voicemail or a private message, except they can't reply. <laughs> okay. Um, you can, uh, what I've seen people use it for is like voting, like, Hey, I want to, I'm, I'm, you know, do, do you like this title better than that one? Do you like this, this image better than that one? And people like the ones that they like. So that's one way of doing it. Or as you saw here, voicemails or, um, sort of like images, image screenshots that, um, maybe aren't as available elsewhere, uh, or aren't as easily seen elsewhere. Maybe, maybe, maybe these are comments from other people, right? Anyway. So, if you're really intrigued by it, well, the first step is to join other people's broadcast channels and see if you uh, want to do it yourself. So hope this helps. Thanks for watching.